Finishing up caution number one for Josh Wise's engine now. David Reagan and Travis Quapple stayed out hoping to lead a lap. That didn't happen because Brad Keselowski did not pit. So they made their stops and tacked onto the back end of the field along with Kyle Busch, who started to leave his pit and then backed up and got an adjustment. And he'll be tail end Charlie as we get ready to go. Yeah, that's an interesting strategy by this two bunch. Is that the real interest to see how this is going to work out for these guys? Because that did not work yesterday in that nationwide insurance race, starting on the outside on a restart. Green flag, boy, Logano is shot out of a cannon and he yards Kozlowski by a car length and a half, making two down to turn one. Yeah, Kozlowski just having trouble on the restart. He did on his initial start of the race, he did there. But I'm more interested to see how his tires are going to stack up against these guys that have tires. And that was perfectly legal because they were beyond the restart box. Krista? Well, back on lap 11, they had talked about coming in when, the, when they needed to to make an adjustment on the right front. But all they had said on the radio before that was they speak in the code. They talked about course. Obviously, they have beer terminology for their code. That was what they decided as a team to stay out. Well, he's fighting for second now. Logano back in command. Keselowski holding second against Jimmy Johnson. Clint Boyer, Ryan Newman. Well, I got to believe that the young man ran this race yesterday, and, uh, you know, they run the same time. They do a lot of the same things yesterday they do today, so he learned something that he's trying to apply early in this race. You saw Eric Almarola looking way up high there in the blue 43. He either brushed the wall in two or had to pedal it because he got so high on the racetrack, and he's dropped a bunch of spots since this restart. Now, let's go back to the Kyle Busch pit stop as we stay with live action.